So I'll now turn next to Senator Fetterman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and it's an honor to have uh, you as my mentor. And to welcome, thank you all of you uh, here, and thank you for coming. And for me, uh, it's been a very personal issue with me. And I'm going to show this, uh, and then I'm going to describe this to others, uh, others. This is my iPhone, and this is a transcription service that allows me to fully participate in this meeting and conversations with my children and interacting with my, my staff. You know, I had a stroke about 18 months ago, you know, and I have lost my ability to fully process language. And I like to think I was an empathetic person, truly. But until that happened, um, it, I've raised to a whole different kind of level as, as well. And it's profound to know, though, that I never really considered that without this kind of technology, I couldn't watch television. And I can't imagine if I didn't have this kind of a bridge to allow me to, con to communicate with, with other people e effectively. And, you know, because I live in a political environment, I was ridiculed and made fun of because I wasn't able to process things sometimes or say things, things. So, I'm so sorry that I'm sure many of you had to go through this kind of thing. You know, I was lucky that I was, I was uh, lucky enough to go through my life, the vast majority of that without this kind of disability that I have. But, um, but again, I can't imagine and how the, the challenges and I, and I admire, you know, everyone that has to kind of live with these kind of struggles and, and, and prevail over them. And the, the questions that I have is, uh, is really more of a, uh, an open-ended kind of question to everyone on the on the the panel. You know, you know, how uh, can we become more empathetic, more responsive, and more effective senators to provide the kind of support and services that you, anyone in these communities, deserve uh, to be a, a, a citizen here in uh, our nation? 